What's up, collective? Collective, welcome to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic -y as clowns. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This is a different kind of reading. So you may just want to hit the notification bell or the subscribe button or the like button because this is going to be a story time reading for those of you that is dealing with a narcissist. This narcissist can come in the form of your person, your family, your boss, your co-worker, your next door neighbor, your apartment manager, your apartment owner, narcissist, or control freaks. And I've had plenty of contact with a whole bunch of them. And I'm just going to tell you some of the stories and pull some cards at the same time. So if you're in a rush, maybe you just want to save this video, download it. You may want to get a pen and a piece of paper to jot down a few things. And as I talk about this, these narcissistic ass motherfuckers, yeah, get your pen and a paper. Get your pen and paper, pen and pad, because I'm going to teach you how to teach these motherfuckers a lesson, okay? If you're dealing with the narcissist. So I'm just going to pull some cards of the narcissistic energy that's going around divine. Now, you being of a divine energy, there are, I know you're dealing with the motherfucking narcissist. I know this for a fact. You may not know what it is. You may not know what a narcissist is. But this is a person who wants to control your every move. They want to control your money. They want to control your vehicle. Your kids. They want to control the people who you're around. They want to tell you what's good for you and what's not. They want to control you. And manipulate you. Okay? So we're going to tap in. And. Find out what is the narcissistic energies. Now like prime example. My son's father. Is a narcissist. Now. He's a narcissist. And let me tell you how they how they manipulate you. They put sex magic on you. They it's just like, okay, put it this way. When I was with this fool, and then I had the nerves to wait uh like 15 years passed by and then we got back together. And it got it was worse. Okay? Now a narcissist will always have some extra supply because they need you to need them. When you're dealing with a narcissist, like I said, they need you to need them. So they require you to give them all your time, your finances. Your energy. This narcissist can be broke or this narcissist can have money. It don't matter. Some narcissists will use control tactics. Narcissists will get jealous very easy of you. They're controlling. They will... Um, 
fool you to do things that you don't want to do in a, a little sneaky, dirty way. Next thing you know, you're doing what you didn't want to do. And what a narcissist will also do when you don't fall for their bullshit. Let's say first they'll come in your life and, and they'll treat you the best. They target you. They watch you for a while. And ladies, be careful online. Because these motherfuckers will show you some fake ass shit. Same thing with you males. They will, the women will do the same thing. It's people out there. A narcissist tactic is to, like I said, to keep the chosen ones from moving forward because they have a demonic attachment. And with this demonic attachment, this demonic attachment knows your spiritual attachment. So what is it going to do? Oh, it's coming after you. That, de that demonic attachment see the light in you, so they want to stop it. They want to dim your light. Shit, they even want to shoot your motherfucking light bulb out. They don't want nobody to see you. They're jealous of you. And they come to destroy you. This is why you see a lot of people, man and female, male, male and female, on the streets homeless. Because they trusted a narcissist. They let a narcissist, you know, one of my narcissists was so fucking controlling over me to where when, when I had a lawsuit, he told me to take the first offer that they gave me. And if I had to listen to him, I wouldn't have had shit but $7,000. But I didn't listen to him. Then after I got my settlement, he was like, I don't know why I told you to, to, you know why, because you didn't want me to have no money. They want you to, to depend on them. They need you to depend on them. So they will go as far as doing spell work, throwing evil eye at you, saying negative things about you. So you won't go and do what it is you're supposed to be doing. They need your attention. Okay. So I'm going to just pull some energies on the karmic energies. Now, these, these karmic energies, they can be um, your family members. It could be your ex-partner. These narcissists can be your boss, okay? You can have a supervisor that keeps, you know, trying to put you down and, and, and not want to give you your props on what you do because they're jealous of you and they're afraid that you're going to take their job. So what they do, they narc-assist you. Okay. <laughs> Just what the fuck I said. Jealousy and envy. They're jealous. They're losing their jobs. Some of them, some of them are these they 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 narcissists, and some of you could have lost your job or see like where it says law job loss. This could mean many things, okay? This could mean you have somebody has lost a job behind a karmic. Coming up to your job, wanting to make sure you at work and shit. Are you at or where you are you where you say you at? Popping up at your job and shit. Okay? Some of them that, that made you lose your job, now they're losing their job. They come up to your job because they're so jealous and envious, okay? And if you was dealing with a narcissist that got money and he, he made you lose your job by coming up there acting ignorant in some form, way, shape, or fashion, he this, this karmic masculine, whoever the fuck he is, this narcissistic bastard risks losing his job. To come to stop yours. Okay. So tell me more about these narcissists. For the collective. For my sweet divine energies in my channel. On my channel. Snake. Deception. Getting your hair done and nails done. 
sleeping with them but thinking about you. Earth sign. So, this person is still in love with you even though you walked away. Bye, Felicia. Flattened tires. Lesbian and gay community. See, this is this is this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Sleeping with them but thinking about you. That's the heart of the energy. Okay. They sleeping with, with them, somebody else. This is how these narcissists work. They'll keep you hanging on. This is the way they try to control you. Keep you hanging on while dealing with somebody else. And they can be dealing with somebody that's in the lesbian and gay community. And with the flattened tires out here, this is another narcissistic move. These narcissists, whether it's your man or your woman, will flatten your fucking tires because they want you to be stuck. They don't want you to be able to get around. They don't want you to catch them doing some shit, sleeping with somebody else while they thinking about you, but they don't want you to, to catch them. So they flatten your tires. They also will flatten your tires if you're on a, a journey of good. They'll do everything they can possible. To fuck you up. Okay? If this is resonating with you and you dealing with the narcissist, then hit that thumbs up. Okay? And they then when they sleep with them, and see they, they sleep with their these other people, they have to have a, a another a, um they have to have other supply. What is it called? They have they need narcissistic supply. So they go around looking for narcissists, looking for empaths, people who have good hearts and, and that's easy to manipulate. Which is not not good, but you just they go after kind hearted people. Okay? Because they're motherfucking snakes. Just like a snake slither slithers around and looks for his prey and strikes unexpectedly. So this is what somebody is dealing like dealing with. And them being a snake, they they're losing their jobs too. If they caused you to lose your job, put it in a car in the comment. If your if your your karmic uh, narcissist has something to do with you losing a job, put it in the comments and tell me what happened. Okay, I don't remember what I said. Can you refresh my memory? Intimidated by women who love themselves, and sex is always on their mind. See, this this is true nar narcissistic shit. They'll say some stuff to you. Say some real foul, fucked up shit to you. Walk out the door and you don't say nothing. Okay? you Maybe some of you, you will argue back with this person. But when you get to a point, you see how they are. They're narcissists. You just let them walk on. You don't say nothing. And see, this person is doing this. If you're a divine energy that you take care of yourself, you love yourself, you keep your things organized, you keep your car nice and clean, you take care of your things, this person is intimidated by that. So they flatten your tires so you can't go get it clean, washed, taken care of. You can't go and buy nothing cute to put on it. Mm -hmm. They're intimidated by you because they don't have the mindset to do nothing like that or they don't want to have the mindset. But Divine Family, you I bet each and every one of you got something in your vehicle that's different from everybody else. And I want you to put it in the comments what that thing is. Whether it's on the outside or it's on the inside. You got something in your vehicle that that's different from everybody else. Whether it's um, Christian stuff, spiritual stuff, what, what it is that you love. It ain't got to be nothing to do. It's whatever it is about you. It's something different. Okay? Whether it's a, a, a certain color. You got your car in a certain color. Um may have the, the little bling bling stuff in there, you know. I know that's not different, but for your, for your, uh, you may have eyelashes on your car. Divine Feminine, if you got eyelashes on your car, put it in the comments. If you got the little blingy, cute designer things in your car, put it in the comments. Masculine too. You got the little bling shit in your car, you driving a nice car and you, it stand out. You you make it different from everybody else's. Okay? Because you're a divine energy. You want to be different. You're different from everyone. You're not of this planet. 
Okay. And you have spiritual wealth. That's just what I'm talking about. And the things that you do, it shows who you are. Whether it's something flashy or rather you have your car is low profile, but you got something in that motherfucker that stands out that's different from everybody else. Put it in the comments. You know I'm not lying. I don't care if it's nothing but a, a, a um something due on if you bought some seat covers. You bought it from the store, but you added something extra to it, that type of shit. You bought something and you did something different with it, and it's in your car. And I don't know where that's coming from. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up. So tell me more about the narcissistic energy. Tell me more about the narcissistic energy surrounding the divine feminine, divine masculine, divine auntie, divine uncle, divine niece and nephew. Tell me what's the karmic energy surrounding my divine families. What's going on, Holy Spirit? They didn't want anyone to know that y'all broke up. Yeah, okay. The reason why they don't want people to know that y'all, if you left them, they ain't telling nobody. Why? Because they need they need to have people think that they left you. <laughs> so if you done walked away from this person, they ain't telling nobody that. They making it people think you're still cool with them. And maybe that's why if you just uh, seen my last video, maybe that's why some of y'all was running into this person in the most odd places. Because they're talking to people like you're still together. So that's their way of manifesting you back. Yes, they're doing spell work. They're talking about you. And that's bringing you to them. God damn. Thank you, spirit. And they could be talking about, you know, something with, with, with sex. And they're dealing with somebody in the lesbian and gay community. The lesbian and gay community. Somebody in the lesbian and gay community could have flattened your tires because this person is still in love with you. Okay. This narcissist still loves you because you were their top energy. <laughs> you had the best energy that they could narc assist from. <laughs> they love to narc assist that divine energy. Okay. Y'all don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Okay, Spirit, give me more on the narcissistic energies around my divine family. And divine family, I will be doing more readings like this. This is kind of a, uh, I'll say, uh, introduction to my uh, my membership. You can join my membership, and I will be posting more videos when it comes to you know things like this, narcissists, um, how to heal from broken hearts, and dealing with narcissistic things like this. And what you, what all of you need, if you're dealing with the narcissist. The stone that I recommend for you is a tiger eye or a tiger eye bracelet, okay? Somebody needs a tiger eye bracelet because you're going to have to put this narcissist in check and be strong and stand and you need a red jasper and to stay grounded. Stop giving these narcissists your attention and your energy. OK, don't deal with them. Don't answer their calls. If they argue, they try to gaslight you. Do not respond. Do not. They don't care if they get your energy, whether it's good or bad. OK, they don't care. If you if they can make you mad, that's still getting your energy. You just continue to be happy. Keep some good vibes around you. Smoke your blunt, drink your wine. But stay away from them. That's what's going to break them down. Them not having your energy. They can have whoever else energy they want. Let them keep it. But they don't have your energy. And you're that divine energy. So if they can't have the divine energy then. What do they have? 
if they don't have the divine energy, Holy Spirit, tell me what what do this what do these uh, narcissists have without the divine energy? They're ashamed and embarrassed without you. Without the divine, see, you could have been helping this person get themselves together. You could have been motivating them. You could have been, you know, like when I was with my my masculine. Um, I was, you know, I I helped him. I bought clothes for him to make him be pre more presentable because he didn't know how to really pick clothes and shit. So I helped him, and then the minute you know I started. Helping him fix himself up. He got uh, around karmic energies that got jealous. That started telling him he, he, he can't do certain things with them clean clothes on. And, you know, um, he didn't want to get down and he can't get down and dirty and what he do. And I'm like, wow, really? And I seen him the other day and it was uh, he, he still doing the same thing, but. His clothes wasn't he was he was wearing some of the same clothes he'd been wearing for the five years that we've been together and I just looked at the thing and I just realized that today is the day of my father's death he passed away February 17 2017 at 4 p.m. Wow. Rest in peace, Daddy. They trying to they didn't kick me out of your house. So mm, I'm gonna have to do some sort of little tribute to my dad. But yeah, so this um this person is sleeping with somebody and thinking about you. Sex is always on their mind. This person got with somebody from the lesbian and gay community and flattened your tires. Because they're jealous and they envy you. And they're a narcissist that was brought into your life to embarrass you and make you feel ashamed. Okay, Spirit, so tell me some more. What 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 is these narcissists going through since... They don't, what, what is the, 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 what are they dealing with shit since the collective have walked away from them? What are the energies that these narcissists, and see, they didn't want nobody to know that y'all broke up. What is the energy surrounding them now that the, the collective has broke up that they don't want to know? Reconciliation with a past lover who done them dirty. Spellboard brought them back. Oh, see, they don't want nobody to know that you left them because it was exposed that they had reconciled with their ex. And they reconciled with their ex because the ex put spell work on them to make them come back. And either you exposed it to them or it was exposed to them. And now they're seeing this ex for who they really are. Karma. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the person they're dealing with could be from the lesbian and gay community also. But somebody from the lesbian gay community flattened your tires. I know this already. I know it. But they getting karma. They getting karma. Okay, so tell me more. You are turning heads back and forth. No. Lies and deception come into the light. They want your attention. Ex-wife. What is love? So now that this person, it has been exposed to them that they see, they see, they see. I guess their ex-wife for who they really are, and now this person is wanting your attention. But with all the lies and deception that's coming to the light, the 
This person could have been married when you was with them. And like I said, if you broke up with them, they didn't want nobody to know because you walked away from them. Because they was lying and cheating with their ex. They reconciled with their ex, so you walked away from them. And they didn't want nobody to know that shit. And they know they did wrong by walking away from you. They sleep If they sleeping with this person thinking about you, they was doing the same fucking thing when they was with you. I seen it with my own eyes. I knew when my person laying in my bed and thinking about somebody else. I knew all of that shit. I was in love with him. I'm not no more. I don't want to see nothing happen to him, but I'm over it. So the same way he was sleeping with me thinking about her, he's sleeping with them thinking about me. Because he know now it's been exposed to him. He see him for himself. If this resonating with you, hit that thumbs up. And see, now this person is seeing you, you turning heads. They see you going back and forth to the store. They could be watching you. <laughs> they watching you gain spiritual wealth. And see, now this person, they if you've been avoiding them, you're not even talking to them. They don't even they don't even remember what the fuck they said to make you just it's like somebody just said, like you've been going back and forth with them, right? And then you just all of a sudden you just you just cut it. You just cut it. They wasn't expecting that. You cut some shit. And they don't even remember. This happened months ago. And now they like, can you um I don't remember what I said. Can you refresh my memory? No. No, I can't. No, I'm not going to refresh your, your your memory. No, why? What's done is done. So I'm going to stop it right there. If this reading resonated with you, my babies, then hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. So you will be notified next time the Karmic Circus is in your tap. Peace.